now let us discuss about finite automata model and the formal definition of finite automata uh, here first let's see about the finite automata model uh, it mainly contains three components the first component is input tape the second component is read head third component is finite control let us draw the diagram for the finite automata model so finite automata model mainly contains three components the first component is input tape so this is the input tape input tape here input tape is divided into number of cells number of cells like this where each cell is capable of storing one symbol at a time so let we have various symbols like this uh, 0 1 double one zero one zero so this is an input tape which contains input string this is the input string the input tape is divided into number of cells where each cell can store one symbol at a time this is the first component and the second component is read head read head so by using read head we can read one symbol at a time so here initially read head points to the first symbol of the input string so the, so initially read head points to the first symbol so first symbol is zero so zero will be read it and after that read head will be moved one position to the right so we can move the read read head only from left to right so after reading this symbol read head points to the next location so now one will be read it and after that read head will be moved one position to the right so likewise and uh, this is the second component read head and the third component is finite control third component is finite control so this in finite control all the states information will be maintained let our transition diagram contains five states so all the five states information will be maintained here and here we have a current state and uh, some input symbol let the current state is q naught let the input symbol is zero okay so if we apply zero on the current state then we will get next state let the next state is q1 so all that information will be maintained in the finite control so on applying input symbol on the current state it will produce the next state so everything will be maintained in the finite control so this is about uh, finite automata model the diagram for the finite automata now let us see the second point the second point is formal definition of the finite automata we can uh, uh, here m m means uh, mission we uh, here we use s m so in order to define the finite automata mainly we use s phi tuples q comma sigma comma delta comma q naught comma f so q represents set of states uh, let the transition diagram contains five states so q represents all the states sigma represents input alphabet input alphabet input alphabet may contains 0 1 or a b c mainly it contains 0 1s and a b c next one is delta delta is a transition function uh, which maps like this q cross sigma to q so delta is a transition function which maps from q cross sigma to q so this q is nothing but current state this sigma is nothing but input symbol this q is nothing but next state so on applying input symbol on the current state it will produce next state okay so that is delta delta means a transition function next one is q naught q naught means initial state q naught means initial state any transition diagram mainly contains only one initial state f means set of final states so that means we may have multiple final states so this is about uh, finite automata model and the formal definition of the finite automata